Kia ora, and welcome to our first quarterly update for 2013. The Salvation Army is growing in Tonga with our recent core plant on the island of Avao. This is our sixth church in Tonga and the first outside the main island of Tongatapu. Lieutenant Bryant Richards, regional commander of the Army's work in Tonga, reports that strong work is underway. A building has been located for the Army's alcohol and drug work and Sunday services, and the farm property has been leased. Pray for the leaders, Captain Sonodi and Ovatomu, and all those who will be a part of this exciting mission expansion. Early in March, we were pleased to welcome eight new cadets to train to become Salvation Army officers. They joined the 16 cadets already in training in New Zealand and Fiji. The Territory continues to produce new resources for the Territorial Strategic Mission Plan. The latest resource we've produced is a course to help our Corps become more friendly. One of the take-home ideas from this course that we can all use is that when we engage in conversation with visitors, we can talk to them about how much we really love our Corps. Following the success of last year's Territorial Renewal Sunday, we've just produced our latest series of resources. The theme compares soldiers and spectators and takes its theme from the American Civil War when there was a time when people took their picnic to go and watch the battle. February saw the launch of our sixth annual State of the Nation report assessing New Zealand's progress in a range of social concerns. The report suggests that we have seen significant improvement in the areas of crime and punishment, but little progress in addressing inadequate housing, child poverty, and youth unemployment. The report has been well received and the Salvation Army thanked for being a key conscience to this country. The Salvation Army used to take to the streets and open air meetings to tell people about the love of Jesus and to offer a helping hand. For many people, today's open air space is online using websites and social media such as Facebook and Twitter. If you're a Facebook user, I'd encourage you to like the Army's Facebook page. If you're on Twitter, you can tweet with us. And don't forget our YouTube channel. This month, our website is having a major facelift. It's a great place to stay up to date with news, stories and coming events. It's where people go to find out how the Salvation Army can help them. And it's where our supporters go to donate to our work. I hope we'll see you online soon. Bring your friends. I trust you'll be in Auckland in September for the visit of our international leader, General Linda Bond. She's a tremendous preacher and she will speak at both Just Action and the Congress. As well as the General, Just Action will feature Shane Claiborne and John M. Perkins, two world-renowned social justice speakers talking around the idea of rebuilding justice together. While you're there, you'll be able to help build a Habitat for Humanity house for a deserving local family. The Congress weekend will include public meetings, an exciting children's program, special activities for youth, a talent showcase, and an update on our Territorial Strategic Mission Plan. As you reflect on Jesus' life, death, and resurrection this Easter season, I pray for you Paul's prayer for the Ephesians, that you may come to understand how wide, how long, how high, and how deep is the love of Christ, so that you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Amen.